Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the NY Gear Review. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Patagonia Hyper Puff hoodie. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So this jacket is coming in at 524 grams, or one pound, two and a half ounces. The face fabric on this jacket does feature a two-way nylon stretch ripstop with a DWR finish. And then the insulation featured on this jacket is a synthetic insulation that Patagonia is calling their HyperDOS insulation. The DOS in HyperDOS insulation just stands for dead air space. And what that means is that they're creating this sort of barrier between the cold air and the warm air created by your body. Additionally, the synthetic that runs throughout the jacket, there is double the amount of that insulation in the torso area. The jacket does feature a full zip with a zipper garage for next to skin comfort. There are two zippered hand warmer pockets on the exterior of the jacket and one exterior chest pocket. The jacket does feature one large mesh interior drop-in pocket. That's great for storing a cell phone or gloves. An interesting element about this jacket is the over-the-helmet hood construction with a single pull adjustability in the back. This jacket does feature elastic cuffing. I will say that the cuffs are reset into the jacket about an inch or an inch and a half, um, which is definitely something that uh, at first feels odd and is something you get used to. This jacket also features a drop tail hem as well as an adjustable draw cord with two points of adjustability on either side of the zipper. Additionally, this jacket does come with a separate stuff sack. Unlike the majority of Patagonia's jackets where they have a self-stowing pocket, for the fit of this jacket, I'm 6'3", 185 pounds. I'm wearing a size large. Uh, the fit is a regular fit by Patagonia standards and does have a little bit of a boxy feel, especially in the torso. Um, however, I would say that it does, the sizing is appropriate. For the application of this jacket, Patagonia suggests that you be using it for alpine climbing and mountaineering. Essentially, the construction of the hood as well as some of the aspects of the front zipper make me think that this jacket doesn't really excel in alpine climbing and mountaineering, nor in casual wear or around the city use. And I'll get into that in just a second. Okay, let's talk about some of the things that I really like about this jacket. Number one being the warmth. This jacket is incredibly warm and is going to excel in temperatures below freezing. I really, really like the exterior fabric as well as the insulation on this jacket. Like I said before, this does have a two-way stretch and you really feel it in your mobility. The jacket has a really soft and comfortable touch to it and the insulation has a great rebound. So once you stuff it back up, it expands back into its normal shape pretty quickly. I really like the exterior pockets, the hand warmer pockets, as well as the chest pocket. Really appreciate the addition of the internal uh, mesh pocket on the interior of the jacket. And then I also like the look of this jacket. Although it is a little boxy, especially in the torso, something that I didn't think I was gonna like was the style, but ultimately I do like the look and appearance of this jacket. Okay, and let's get into some of the things that I don't like about this jacket. Number one being the cuffs. Um, like I said before, the cuffs are reset into the jacket by about uh, an inch, an inch and a half. And so what it feels like is almost like wearing a suit and that you have this um, elastic cuffing around your actual wrist and then an additional drop down fabric that comes down to about your the beginning of your thumb. It's just an odd feeling, something that you might have to get used to. I don't like the feel of this um, and it's just something that I haven't really warmed up to. Okay and then getting down to my biggest gripe with this jacket is the hood construction. So the hood construction of this jacket is odd. It's supposed to go over a helmet for sure and it performs well when you're wearing a helmet. The hood is really big, has a lot of material um, however, one thing that I'll note about it is it only has this one point of adjustability, this uh, adjustable cinch in the back. It's just going to take in the peripherals of the hood. It doesn't actually shrink down the size of the hood. And the reason I don't like this is because this jacket, if it is intended for only alpine climbing and mountaineering, then it should also fe feature a double slider on the zipper so that you have easy access to your harness without having to take off the jacket or fully unzip it. If you're looking for a jacket that does have those features, the double access, then you might as well just go up to the Hyperpuff Parka, which is gonna be a little bit warmer and really intended for belays and cold bivvies. And then if this jacket is intended for casual wear, then they need to have something going on with the hood that is a little less bulky and has less material in there. Because if you're not gonna be wearing a helmet all the time, then this hood is just a little bit too much. 
It comes down over my eyes, it blocks my vision. It's not really that comfortable, nor does it seal in that much heat because of how bulky it is and how much extra room is in there because it's meant to be worn with a helmet. So I'm really not psyched about the construction of this hood. For the price of this jacket, it's coming in at $299. It's a lot of money to be spending on a jacket that sort of sits on the fence between alpine climbing and casual wear. If you are one of those people that's going to be using this jacket solely for alpine climbing and mountaineering, you're going to be using it with a helmet the majority of the time, then there's no reason why you wouldn't want to look into this jacket. Again, I really am impressed with the outer fabric, the insulation, the warmth. This jacket has a lot of great things going for it, but it just sits on the fence in its application. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. That was the Patagonia Hyper Pup hoodie. Please subscribe below, leave any questions or comments in the comments section, and we'll see you next time for more reviews.